If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. To create bonus-only or commission-only paychecks in QuickBooks Online if you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service and have added the bonus and or commission pay types for employees, hover over the payroll link in the navigation bar and then click the employees link in the side menu that appears to open the employees page. Then click the drop down arrow on the run payroll button in the upper right corner of the page. Then select either the bonus only or commission only command from the drop down menu as needed. If you select the bonus only command, then the run payroll bonus only window opens. If you select the commission only command, then the Run Payroll Commission Only screen appears instead. In this screen, you set the Bonus and or Commission Pay settings. For Bonus Pay Only, to enter the employee's take-home pay or the amount left after removing any withholdings, select the As Net Pay option button. Alternatively, to enter the total pay for the bonus or the amount before removing any withholdings, Select the As Gross Pay option instead. For all pay types, including commission pay, to use supplemental tax rates or add the pay period, check the Use Supplemental Tax Rates and or the Add Pay Period checkbox respectively. After choosing the Pay Settings, click the Continue button in the lower right corner of the window. In the next screen, enter the pay date by selecting it from the Pay Date Calendar selector. If you enabled pay periods in the previous screen, then you can also set the period start and period end dates here too. Then check the checkbox to the left of the name of the employee or employees to pay in this bonus or commission payroll run within the Employees table below. Alternatively, uncheck the checkbox for the employees to not pay. To check or uncheck all checkboxes, click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes in this table to select or unselect them all respectively. For the selected employees, enter the amount of the bonus or commission for each employee into the bonus or commission column as needed. You can enter an optional memo for the pay into the memo column. Optionally, to review the paycheck details for an employee, click the triple dot icon at the right end of their row under the Actions column, and then select the Edit Paycheck command to make any adjustments needed in the Paycheck Details window that opens. This window lets you check the paycheck details, including any taxes applied if you chose to use supplemental tax rates. To save any changes and return to the Run Payroll window, click the Save button in the lower right corner. Alternatively, to close this window and return to the Run Payroll window without saving any changes, Click the Close button in the lower left corner of the window. To continue, click the Preview Payroll button in the lower right corner of the Run Payroll window. If needed, to select the account from which to draw the payroll funds, select a choice from the Chart of Account dropdown at the top of the window. Make sure to thoroughly check your work. If desired, to preview the Payroll Details report for the payroll, click the Preview Payroll Details button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to open the Payroll Details report in a new window, which you can close after reviewing it. If needed, to save your changes up to this point and close the Run Payroll window to return and finish submitting payroll later, Click the drop down arrow on the button in the lower right corner of the window and select the Save for Later command. Alternatively, 
To close the Run Payroll window without saving any changes, click the X button in the upper right corner of the window. To finish and submit the payroll after ensuring all the information is correct, click the Submit Payroll button. The paycheck information then appears on screen. To print pay stubs, click the Print Pay Stub button to show a PDF preview of the pay stubs in a separate browser tab where you can print them and then close the tab when finished. If needed to record check numbers if printing paper checks, type them into the Check Number field for the associated paycheck. To view your payroll reports as individual worksheets within an exported Excel workbook, click the Download Payroll Reports button in the toolbar at the bottom of the Run Payroll window to open a Payroll Reports window that lists the available payroll reports. Check the checkboxes to the left of the names of the reports to export and then click the Export to Excel button to download them to your computer as worksheets in an Excel workbook and return to the Run Payroll window. To close the Run Payroll window, click the Close button in the lower right corner of the toolbar in the Run Payroll window. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.